Okay, so in this question, we have a ball that's resting on the ground and it is attached to a cable and on the other end of that cable there is a support. So the cable is inclined at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. Now the ball is subject to a force F which is pulling horizontally to the right. So we can imagine that if we were to apply this force and continue to increase the magnitude of the force F, at some point that ball is going to lift up off the ground. And our task is to determine, knowing the weight of the ball is 75 kilograms, we want to determine what's the magnitude of the force F that's going to cause the ball to lift off the ground. Now, this whole question hinges on you recognizing that the ball will lift off the ground at the point at which the reaction, which is not shown here in this diagram, but the point at which that reaction equals zero. So we essentially want to evaluate force equilibrium for this ball and impose on those equilibrium equations the condition that OR must equal zero. And we will be able to determine the value of the force F for which OR equals zero. Okay, so the very first thing to do is to do a free body diagram. Okay, so we'll just sketch this out nice and nice and quickly. So we've got a ball very straightforward. Now, what's not shown in the top diagram is the fact that that ball is experiencing a reaction force from the ground on which it's sitting. We then have a force F, which is the applied force. And then when we cut that cable, we'll reveal an internal tension force within the cable. So we're gonna label that T and recognize that that is at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. Okay, now the other force we have acting on the ball is its own self-weight, which is essentially the product of its mass times the acceleration due to gravity, which is going to be 75 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared will give us 7358 Newtons. Excellent. Okay, so now we have a free body diagram. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to evaluate force equilibrium in the vertical direction. So we can take the sum of the forces in the y direction must equal zero. And I'm going to assume upwards forces are positive. Okay, so what have I got? I have or minus 735.8, which is the self weight plus the vertical component of the tensile force. So the tensile force is an inclined force. And so it has a vertical component, which is T times the sine of 20 degrees. Now, all of that has to equal zero. So here's the trick. This is where we impose the condition that the reaction force or equals zero, because at the point at which the ball lifts off the ground, the reaction, it won't be exerting any force on the ground, and therefore the ground won't be exerting any equal and opposite reaction force onto the ball. So let's impose that condition. That essentially makes OR equal to zero. And so we can say that T times the sine of 20 degrees must equal 735.8. Okay, so we now need to consider um, force equilibrium in the horizontal direction because essentially I need an expression for T in terms of F, okay? So I've imposed my condition that R equals zero on the, and that has given me essentially this equation here, but F doesn't appear in that equation, okay? And it's F, it's a, it's a numerical value for F that I'm looking for. So the next step is to consider the sum of the forces in the X direction. Let those equal to zero because the ball isn't moving off anywhere. It's stationary. And we're going to say positive forces are to the right. Now we can say that F minus the horizontal component of the tensile force minus T times the cosine of 20 degrees. That all has to equal zero because the ball is stationary. And we can then say that T rearranged to make T the subject of the equation t is equal to f over the cosine of 20 degrees. Okay, now we are at a position where we can sub this expression for t back in to the vertical force equilibrium equation. So what have we got then? If we do that, let's just say subbing, subbing, substituting back in dot dot dot. What have we got? f over the cosine of 20 degrees 
multiply that by the sine of 20 degrees and all of that has to equal 735.8 newtons excellent so then you'll notice that that just evaluates to a number this evaluates to a number and that just is a number so the only symbol is f and so we can solve for f and say that f is equal to 735.8 sine over cosine is equal to tan the tangent so that's equal, that's uh, 735.8 over the tan of 20 degrees, which just evaluates to a number. And that number is equal to, so, uh, let me see, 2021.6 newtons. Excellent. So we've worked out the value of the force F for which our ball is in a state of static equilibrium. And the second condition was that the reaction force R equals zero. So in other words, we've worked out the value of the force F for which the ball will just about lift up off the ground, i.e. the ground is exerting no reaction force on the ball because the ball is exerting no self-weight force down onto the ground.